Hi, this is Toby from Lift Tech Mobility. So in today's video, we're going to be introducing to you our new Compact Plus. Um, so it's 2023, uh, we've decided we're going to do things slightly differently. Uh, we're going to um, add a new chair and we're going to remove a few chairs from the side. So it's now going to be our Compact and our Compact Plus in our lightweight chairs range and then we're going to our smart chair range. Um, the thing about what we've sort of worked out over the years is it's not always good to be too light. So the Carbon Fiber was a great chair um, and it was great for a specific use case but we didn't sell it in enough of quantities that we wanted to because it was really too light. So when people called up and said, oh, we want it for going out to the shops but we've got harsh pavements and things like that to go on, unless you're a real skilled wheelchair driver or user, it wasn't really ideal. So it was fine around, um, you know, your shopping centres, your round Sainsbury's, breach promenades and things like that. Um, but the average user is wanting far more from their wheelchair these days. So what we've decided to do is basically work much more on a light as possible chair to get in and out of the car when removing batteries, but when you've got the batteries in, enough downforce and weight on the chair to help keep you stable. So it's to try and bridge that kind of gap between the lightweight chairs and the smart chair range. So this is where this chair comes into play. So we've got the compact, which is fine. That's basically for around home. Uh, like the Beach Promars around Sainsbury's, it's very, very small, very nimble. Um, but it's never going to be as capable as either the smart chair range or something like this. This one is slightly wider set. It's got slightly more spongy tyres. Um, it's actually got suspension. So it's the first working chair that we've got um, in our range that's actually got proper shock absorbers that really, really compress. All the rest have suspension. They're tiny springs and they move very slightly. And it's more to protect the chair from bumps and things like that than it is really from the user. Things like the smart chair and all their cushionings, they all... Um, that's all from the quality of the tyres really more than the suspension. So where you don't have the big fat bulky tyres and something like this, you then need to compensate say, um, in other ways and add bits like suspension. So I'll just show you this now and I'll open it up for you. So to open it up from the side, all we do is we separate our hands together and snap. So you can actually see when I push this frame down now, you can actually see those shocks working. So whenever you're going over any bumps and things like that, they're actively moving all the time, which is going to keep you more comfortable. Uh, so it's going to be less like wiggly rackety like that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be much smoother, much safer, much more comfortable. When you're climbing curbs, rather than bashing into the curbs, what will happen is that the wheels will compress, the suspension will compress, and you'll gently climb the curbs. So it's going to make everyday outings much, much smoother. So when people now call us up and say, we want your most capable lightweight chair, we can now go, that's easy. We'll give you the Compact Plus. You know, it means we can get from our home um, to town. We can go still across pavements with cambers. Um, we can go up and down curbs now, tree roots, things like that. But we can um, also get in our car. So to unfold this chair, we've got this little bar at the back. So I'll swing it around a little bit to you. So, okay, so what you do is, first of all, you're going to line your wheels up so they're facing forward. You're going to press down the bar and then you're just going to bring your hands back. So that's your folded position. So now, if I really want to move this back a bit for the camera, so now if I really want to reduce weight, I'll just take the batteries out and that's incredibly quick. So one battery here, that took me a couple of seconds, and we've got the other battery here. So now what I've done is I've reduced the weight from 23 kilos to 20.5. This now makes this an incredibly attractive proposition because it's nice and easy now to be able to pick up in the car and put into the boot of the car. So you've got the best of both worlds really. You remove the batteries, you make it light to get in your car. You add the batteries, you've now got a heavy enough chair that when you're driving around on your curbs and cambers and pavements and things like that, that your chair's not moving around all over the place. The problem is, if you don't match the right chair with the right user, you have all sorts of problems. So, Let's say someone, and this goes from not just our old carbon fibre chair, but any carbon fibre chair that's out there, they serve a place, but they're never going to be very capable. Once you're on a camber and you go, and especially if someone is too heavy for a chair, um, so, you know, really, the carbon chairs, I'm not going to say exact weights, but you want to be a slight person using carbon, because if you're a heavy person using a carbon chair, for example, once you go, there is no coming back from it. There is no way of pulling it back. So, um, if you match the right person with the right chair, you're not going to come into these problems. So this chair will take a safe user weight of up to 120 kilos. However, because it's a lightweight chair, really anyone over the 100 kilo mark should be straight away going to the smart chair range. Um, you know, you've got bigger wheels, um, 
more substantial frame, they're usually slightly more spread out, which is going to be more comfortable for the larger individual as well. So it still means you still have to get the right chair for the right person. However, the gap has definitely been bridged because this is by far the most capable lightweight chair that I've ever used. And I've used everything from the R range that we've ever produced and also pretty much every one of our competitors' chairs in the market. I know it's good, I know it completely sucks, and this is a bloody good chair. Um, okay, so I'm gonna fold and unfold it again. Right, so the beauty of this chair is the armrests also go completely back now. So not only does it mean you can come in from different angles of getting in and out of the chair, but if you are someone that needs to stay in their chair the whole time, and I'm gonna add the cushion here now, it means that you can literally, and you can either have someone with the joystick attached toggle you under electrically under a table, or you can pop your motors into freewheel mode and someone can now push you underneath a table for your eating, drinking and working. And it means because most wheelchair armrests, they will come up to here, which means it's fine to an extent, but your elbows can sometimes hit. When they come the whole way back down, it means there's no chance of them hitting at all. It also gives you far more entry points if you're someone that relies on getting close to the chair to do transfers, whether it be from the front, which is great because it literally I can put my wheels right up to something now and I've got nothing in the way of here. I've probably got about two centimetres in between where I'd have to transfer the gap. Um, so there's very few foot plates that literally will fold up as flush as this um, and forks that won't stick out. Um, or I can completely transfer from the side and get nice and close to it by putting this up. Okay, so let's run through the components on this chair. We've got 180 watt brushless motors. Brushless motors are what you want. We don't sell a single model now with brush motors. All of our entry level models have gone and we're focusing on the best of the best. Liftec want to be known for quality, um, capability and comfort. Um, so the motor's back, that's engaged. That's basically how the chair will be in stationary mode. Um, and if you, or when the joystick's attached, that's how it'll be used electrically. When the joystick's turned off or not attached at all, we can tap these motors forward and then that's going to activate free wheel mode. You'll always know a good motor that the least resistance you have in free wheel mode means the better quality of the motor. You'll go into some mobility shops and when it's in free wheel mode, they'll be really, really hard to push around and feel a lot of resistance. That's because it's a lower quality brush motor. So people ask all the time, you know, why? Why do, you, why do your chairs cost what you do when there's other brands out there that cost a thousand? To put it in perspective, you know, it's between these two motors and the two batteries, it's the same price as a lot of those chairs are. It's, just the, it's the quality of components. Like the batteries will last four to five years. Um, they'll do much more range. Um, you know, the, 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 the motors won't break down, they'll last longer. Um, they will be much better in free world mode. The whole aim of these things is to make your life as easy as possible. And yes, a lot of wheelchairs out there will succeed in doing a job. They will not succeed to their full extent of making someone's life as easy as it could possibly be. And that's what separates and what's the difference between a thousand pound in the mobility world. It is literally down to quality of parts and making someone's life as easy as possible and doing the best job as it physically can do. Okay, at the front we've got our battery. So to open these, we can just press this button. For anyone else that's got um, uh, bad arthritis or something like that, we can bend these pins down so we can make it to a point where you don't actually need to push down anything, you can just pull the battery up and down. We are working on a battery uh, mechanism so when these go in, there's going to be like a little, a little kind of a bolt or pin that you pull up which is going to release a pin in here and you can just pull the batteries out. So that's being worked on at the moment. Um, that will make everyone's life really easy because it means if you've got arthritis or if you've had a stroke, you can still get your batteries out. And you'll still have the option as well to bend the batteries and not use the pins at all and just pull them in and out. Gravity is never, because um, gravity is in play, you're always, always going to have your batteries stable. They're not going to rock around anyway. Um, it's a nice tight fit. Um, these basically go into some terminals which are fitted down here. So it's never really going to go anywhere anyway. So if you do need to bend the pins, just ask and we'll do it for you before... Um, before we send the chair out to you. So, two 6AX batteries, plane safe every airline in the world. Um, you've got a treadmill range of 15, so a real world use, depending on your height and weight, 9, 10, maybe 11 miles, it really depends on terrain. So, how um, battery life works is, if you're on a shopping centre floor, something like that, or a basketball court, the shinier and the smoother surface, you're going to get far more miles, far, far, far more miles. 
the things that, um, and if you've got like, if you've got a more user weight, or if you're outside and you're doing hills, you're doing rougher terrain, you're going to use up more battery. Anything that makes your chair work harder, you're going to use up more battery. It's just a simple fact. So sometimes you would only get eight miles out of your chair, and then other days you'll get say 13. It really, really, really depends. Okay, so you will also know by pressing this little blue button here how much battery charge they've got per battery. These chairs can be charged through the joystick which will charge both batteries on the chair at the same time together. Or say you want to keep your chair in the car, you just whip the batteries out and then you've got a charging port in the battery for off-board charging as well. Okay, so on this new model, we've got eight inch back cushion, sorry, back wheels and we've got seven inch uh, front wheels. Both rubber, rubber is a more expensive compound, that's why a lot of the cheap chairs we use polyurethane, PU tires you'll see. Completely puncture proof, um, much more grippy, um, and they're gonna last you much longer. So most, most users, they will last the whole length of the, the chair ownership without having to change any tires, whereas PU, they'll start losing their grip. They haven't really got much grip in the first place, to be honest, but they'll start losing their grip even more um, after about six months to a year of use. Especially if you're using it a lot, they'll go like really bald. Um, okay, so this chair comes with an upgraded cushion as standard. So we sell these as our upgraded cushion. It's probably that and our upgraded front wheels are two best-selling products we sell. Um, and that comes as standard with this chair. The good thing about that is, where it's um, a little bit higher, it means that getting in and out, for example, is nice and easy because you've got that space between the foot plate and the top of here. So you've got nothing to catch. So really easy to get in and out of. Also, we can come out from the things like the sides or we can come out even more from the side. So this chair gives you a lot of options. Another good thing about a contour cushion is our normal cushions are two and a half inches. This is three to three and a half inches at the peak. Nice and contoured, which basically means you've got these little, kind of little grooves in here which hold your thighs in place. So if someone's got cerebral palsy or um, a sort of position where they need to keep themselves quite upright or steady in, in one position in the seat, these are great. Um, but to be honest, they're also really popular with everyone whenever we put any person in any of our chairs, and then we get to try our different cushions we do, we can do quite a few different cushions. Nine times out of 10 people will always go for the contoured uh, upgraded cushion. We've got a nice padded backrest. Um, this can be made more upright or kind of more concave just by tightening and releasing these straps. So if you're somebody who likes to be nice and upright, um, then you can have these tied here. If you're somebody who likes to sit further back in the chair, then you just loosen them off. Um, in general, uh, kind of the smaller you are and the slighter you are, you usually tend to be more upright and well further forward in the seat position. And if you carry a little bit more weight, you much prefer being further back and a bit more concave. But you know, everyone's different. Um, I don't think there is too much more I can say about this chair, other than maybe I can attach the joystick, maybe give it a quick, a quick 360 whirl. Same as all our other chairs, it's electromagnetic braking, so the minute you take your hand off the joystick, chair will stop whether you're on an up um, incline or a decline or on the flat. So I'll just uh, show you how to attach the joystick as well. So if we just bring the camera in. So if you're a righty or a lefty, it can be either side, just let us know at the point of purchase. Tighten it in. If you've got a longer grip, you can be further out. If you've got a short grip, you can be um, further in. Okay, so we've got a white arrow here, or pretty much a white arrow. White arrow here, you line your white arrows up, push in, twist to make a secure connection. Okay, so let's make sure our motors are engaged. Yeah, the chair's not moving back, which means we're in stationary engaged motion. So all I've got to do now is turn it on. Yeah, it's nice and manoeuvrable, which makes it excellent for in the home, in pubs, restaurants, theatres, places where there's lots of things to hit. Um, so yeah, this is our new chair. Um, literally, like I said, it's the chair that now bridges the gap between the lightweight chairs and the uh, smart chairs. So if you don't need a really, really hardcore chair, but you want a safe, capable chair um, that's still lightweight enough, your partner to get in and out the car, then this is your bad boy. All right, speak to you in the next video. Take care.